You know, I really gotta hand it to Insomniac. They make some really solid recolors. Oh, dude, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? I have to admit, I think there are a lot of recolors for suits in this game that I think are better than the original color. Oh my fucking god, man. This looks like ass. This looks like fucking dog. All right, enough with the bit, okay? Today, I'm gonna be reviewing all of the Insomniac Spider-Man 2 recolors. I'm doing it off scripted so I don't have to write an entire video where I meticulously write down all my dislikes about every single recolor. I'm just gonna fly through them all, no script. I'm gonna tell you how I feel. It's just colors on fabric, who cares? Let's do it. All right, so first off, we have the advanced 2.0 suit here. And of course, the first recolor is the pink, white, and black combo. I can't lie, off the bat, this is one of the best recolors in the entire game. This is like a five-star recolor. This suit is literally, if you just took the fucking, took the goddamn Far From Home suit, and you made it into the fucking main suit for this game, you just stole all the colors off it. It's, it's beautiful. I don't even know what to say about it. It's arguably better than the original colors for this suit. Which I will say, still look very good. I, I, I've, I've been too mean to this suit. I say this every time. I say this every goddamn time! Alright, next up, we have the Webman recolor for this suit. You guys know me, I love Webman, okay? Webman is one of my favorite Spider-Man things ever. You just take the classic suit and you flip the colors around. I'm that simple to please. I love this Webman color. I think it's just the perfect shade of blue. It's the perfect shade of red. I think this is the best Webman color in the whole game. There are a lot of other Webman recolors in this game that just are not as good as this one for some reason. Including, yes, the classic one, which we'll get to later. I don't think that one's, that, I don't think that one has as appealing of a color palette as this one does. This one looks fucking awesome. It's a great recolor. I gotta say it's like another five star. Mustard Man. Mustard Man, Egg White Spider-Man, I don't even know what to say about this guy, I think this one's just weird. I, I especially don't like how they've used the white to highlight the paneling on this suit. I, I just think this one's just like a weird curveball that doesn't even really do anything interesting. It's just yellow and white, and I mean, I guess you could do that on a Spider-Man suit if you really wanted to, but I don't think this format is the right... It's, it's just not the right format for the yellow and white. It's just not the right suit. I'll, I'm gonna give it a two. I'm gonna give it a two. It honestly should have been yellow, black, and white instead of so much white and yellow. I would have just made it... I literally would have just made it the fucking pink and black suit instead of... But instead of fucking pink, it's yellow. All right! Next suit, we've got the classic suit here. And of course, we start with Webman. I will say... I like how deep the red is on this, but I think the blue is like a little too washed out for me. It's kind of like the same issue I have with the basic version of this suit. I don't know why, but sometimes, depending on which TV you're looking at, I really went off on this thing in my tier list video, but depending on what TV or what screen you look at, it looks a little more brown. And I don't... I just don't like how toned down the webbed fabric can look sometimes. I really wish they would go back and change that or something. But it it just looks toned down on the blue here as well. For that purpose, I'm going to say it's a 4 out of 5 recolor. I really wish it was as bright and vibrant as the other Webman suit we talked about. Alright, we have Red and Black Spider-Man. Now with the Red and Black Spider-Man you forget how washed out the red is because the black is so dark. It literally makes the problem almost entirely go away because it's so much less noticeable. Now, Spidey can be a little more forgiven for looking a little more muted in the red sections because it's a darker Spidey suit. It looks good. I would say this is a five out of five. This is a five star recolor, baby. This is perfect. The, the red is allowed to look muted on black. And then, here we have the fucking curveball recolor here. You know, Insomniac loves to do at least two recolors that they've really thought about, and then they just do a fucking stupid-ass one. It's just the classic suit, but with a brighter blue and white logos. I don't... 
I really don't know why they did this when they could have done a fucking goddamn negative zone suit or something. Could have done, could have done the fucking comic shader Spider-Man. Nobody would have complained if you would have thrown the comic shader Spider-Man in that slot. Would that be cheating? Maybe. But you could have done it. Nobody would have said anything if you did it. <coughs> All right, we got Ben Riley's second suit here. This is a really weird fucking place to put it, by the way. You know what? I'm gonna. D let me get off topic here, okay? Why the fuck do we only have Scarlet Spider 3 and Scarlet Spider 1 in this game? Why why did they why, why in the ever loving fuck did they cut out Kane's suit? I will never understand that. If you're going to go to the point when you're just going to give these guys like a lazy ass name like Scarlet Spider 3 and Scarlet Spider 1 and Scarlet Spider 2 you're not even gonna bother to keep the trilogy together? That would be like if Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 3 got put on Netflix, and Netflix just said, fuck you, you can only have Spider-Man 1 and Spider-Man 3 and not fucking Spider-Man 2, bitch. Done and done. <laughs> anyway, this fucking black and red Scarlet Spider 3 suit. I mean, it's okay. I'm not, sh I'm not like super shocked by it because this suit is like really low detail. There's just like a lot of flat color. So they had to fucking add a bunch of seams on it to make it look a little more detailed. But I mean, it's not a bad suit in any way, I would say. Honestly, I think if the recolor makes it more interesting, that's grounds for a 5 out of 5. So I will say that this one is a 5 out of 5. 5 star, baby. 5 star recolor. Alright, this one is pretty much just the same thing as the last one. So if you like the color yellow, this one can be your favorite over the other one, I guess. I wouldn't blame you. I, I want to say this one could also be a 5 out of 5 because I feel like the, it would conflict with the last ranking. But I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 because the red on the belt kind of comes out of nowhere. Just for that little ornament. I think it's okay that there's just a little bit of red on the ornament. But I also just don't know if yellow is the right color for this suit. I don't know. Alright, the last one. This is a pretty interesting choice going with red accents and then all white on the top of the suit. I think you'd be forgiven for thinking this looks cool, but I kinda wish that there was a little more red implemented on this recolor. I, f I feel like it definitely wouldn't have hurt to have maybe the rims of the lenses be red or something. Honestly, I think the problem with this one is trying to implement the red at all. I think if they took away all the red off this suit and replaced it with blue, I think it would look so much cooler. And honestly, it would be a little more in line with the previous recolors. Because those didn't really step out of bounds and do anything too crazy because they still look good. They kept to a consistent color palette. But, but I feel like this one definitely could have benefited from sticking to blue and white. Three star recolor. It's a three star recolor. Guys, guys, guys. I have something for you. The merch store, baby! If you look in the description of this video, you will find the long-awaited merch store. I got a bunch of stuff that I promise you'll be interested in. Like this very familiar blue spider hoodie. You know, I bet if you got this thing and you cut the sleeves off of it, you could probably make a pretty killer costume with it. Legally speaking, this was not the intended purpose for this product. Or what about this? other familiar looking spider hoodie. I swear, man, just looking at this thing makes me want to grab the nearest cat, put it politely in a backpack, and just free run around the city with him. Legally speaking, this was not the intended purpose for this product. Now, I'm really excited to bring you guys these hoodies that may or may not be for your cosplays. And I have so many other items in store for you to check out, but I don't want to keep you from the video. Just remember to check out the link in the description to get your hands on some merch. Thank you all so much. Let's get back to the video. All right, next fucking suit, the goddamn advanced suit. Oh my goddamn lord. This is one of the fucking worst recolors in this whole goddamn game. First of all, first of all, first of all, right? If you're going to go through 
taking the Insomniac suit, right? And you're gonna make the logo black on the Webman variant. That's fine. That's fine. It makes sense, okay? If Webman is supposed to be the reverse of the Spider-Man suit, it makes sense that an Insomniac Webman would make the white black. So then why the fuck are the rims on the lenses red? What kind of fucking sense does that make? Someone fucking fell asleep at their desk and forgot to fucking make the gloves blue. I don't even know what to, what to fucking say for this thing. It's it's so close to being just a decent webman recolor, but they fumble so much that it 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 just looks like a fucking clusterfuck. It looks like a bad OC. It's cringe. I don't like it. Take it to the gulag. It's a two-star recolor, brother. I, I want to put one star so bad, not gonna lie, but I feel like it can be salvaged. It could be salvaged into like a, a, a even a four star, maybe, but it ha it'd have to be really good. Finally, oh my god. Holy shit, man, Insomniac fucking coming back to fucking save me with Peak, man. This shit is beautiful. You know, I can't believe there was a time when people thought that the Insomniac symbiote suit would look like this. And honestly, I think they put this in the game just to show us that that wouldn't be so bad. This is fucking sick. This is a pretty good recolor. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to say it's a five star. Let's give it a five star. It's a five star recolor, baby. Five stars. Dude, Insomniac couldn't even fucking give me two good suits in a row. God damn it. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? What in the ever loving shit is this? Okay, so let's review the colors we got here. We got... Oh my god, I didn't drink enough water today on the lenses in the logo. You have fucking doo-doo brown shit on the fucking goddamn red portions. And then, because that wasn't enough, you have swamp moss green on the fucking... Oh, I don't even know what to... I don't even know what to say anymore. This is ridiculous. I think this is supposed to be the Oscorp suit Spider-Man. And once again, they fucking made the gloves the stupidest fucking color they could have possibly chose honestly i don't know why they they repeatedly decide to fuck my boy up like this it's honestly kind of cruel if they really wanted to make this look good they could have i really feel like it they fucked my boy up on purpose they could have made the rims of the lenses black they could have gotten the gloves right they could have chose a better shade of red for the red instead of going with the basic fucking red that they already have on the the advanced suit it's a bad recolor. It's a two star. It's another two star recolor. All right, the Kumo suit, the most fucking bland nothing suit that nobody cares about. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that bad, but the first recolor for the Kumo suit, I can't lie, actually does it justice. I think keeping the color palette to strictly black and red makes this suit so much more striking. And honestly, I, I gotta say it's an improvement over the original and that makes it a little better, in my opinion. So, honestly, the original suit is- the original Kumo suit is so bad it kind of holds it back, but this one's like a- I want to say this one's like a three star. This one's a three star recolor. This next one, oh my god, literally fucking blows the original out of the water. I, off the bat, uh, this is a four star. The blue is so much more enticing as the body color. I fucking love how the white comes in with the cream. The, the blue is just so much more appealing. It's, it's, it's a four star. It's a four star. It kind of makes the suit so much more likable. And here, we have a black and white recolor that pretty much just makes this suit so much cooler. It kind of makes him look like a fucking manga character of some kind. And if you really like blur your eyes, he kind of just looks like Spider-Man. The fucking dots in his eyes really just become like some weird spider eye things, but you see that Spider-Man coming out. I like it, honestly black and white black and white makes it look best i want to be i'm hesitant to call it a five star because the original is so bad but i'm gonna do it i'm gonna call it a five star recolor because it makes it so much more than the original all right spider-man 2099 of course you've got the classic black variant for the spider-man 2099 suit i'm glad they put this in the game I think everybody on the side of preferring it black deserved to get this in this game, and I'm glad they did. It's a five star. Honestly, I might I might even say it's a 
I might take it a little lower. I think it's a four star because I think the shade of black they used on the next suit is a lot more enticing and I would have preferred to see that here. So four star. This is the black I would have liked to see on the previous suit because it's kind of bluish, but it's still black. It's unquestionably black. And the white pops out so deviously. It's amazing. It's a five star. Beautiful. Now I've seen a lot of people say a lot of mean things about this recolor but I kind of like it, okay? It's not gorgeous, okay? It's certainly not gorgeous. I really don't like how the paneling pops out against the purple, but I kind of like the cotton candy blue on the light purple. I think it kind of works just a little bit, just a little bit. It's ridiculous, but it's not so bad. I'm gonna say it's a three star. I'm gonna meet y'all in the middle and I'm gonna say it's a three star. Scarlet Spider. I really don't know how I'm gonna edit this video without face cam. I'm really just like singing into a microphone in my room. All right, this first one kind of has me scratching my head. It's not too bad, but I don't know. The maroon red, the gold. I mean, it's not bad. It's cool a little bit, but I don't know. It's not a crazy recolor. I'd say it's like a three star. Now, this next one has me fucking scratching my head because this is the same purple that was on this 2099 from earlier, right? And I feel like this could have looked cool. I, if you just walk with me, walk with me for a second, right? Look at the bodysuit. Look at the bodysuit itself. Look at the eyes, right? The green and the purple. That looks good. But it's this fucking goddamn hoodie they put on him. Why did they have to put a black and white hoodie on him? It just makes it fucking look weird now. I would have been okay with uh, with the green logo. I think a green logo would have made sense, but, but the fucking white? It's just an unfortunate recolor. There are too many colors on it. Now this next one is fucking sick. It's blue, it's, it's the Webman variant for the Scarlet Spider. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? This is one of the sneak Webman variants that they slid into the game. Ben Riley's Webman. This is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Five star, suck your nan. I don't give a fuck. Webman forever. Fuck you. Superior Spider-Man. Am I really just going to say their names as the introduction from now on? I really like the blue recolor here. I, I, I think it could really just work on its own if it was just blue. The problem is that it is not just blue. There's also fucking gold on it. And at that point, I'm just like, why? You, you also didn't have to fuck with the paneling on it either to make the paneling blue as well. You literally could have just done a blue recolor of the original Scarlet Spider and nobody would have complained. You didn't have to make the, the midsection blue too and add all the gold. You didn't have to do all that shit. I think it holds it back. It's a four star recolor because the gold isn't too noticeable but when you see it, it sticks out like a sore thumb. <coughs> this is supposed to be some sort of superior Spider-Man Miles recolor. Of course you have the back logo being red and of course that back logo tapers out into the one on the front. Very similar to how Miles' suit structures itself. These suits are already very similar and I think Insomniac noticed that and that's why they made this recolor. But there's no fucking red lenses. The lenses are completely black. The mask looks blank. That's what fucking kills this suit. And also, on top of that, they left the inside of the logo empty, and I think that's also a fucking hint to Miles, because, of course, the end of the Spider-Verse logo has empty space in it. They knew what they were doing! All they had to do was make the lenses red, and this, this, re this recolor could have been peak. Three star. It's a three star recolor. It's a bit of a fumble. Alright, now the last recolor for this suit is one that I think is really good, and it's honestly the best of the bunch. The Superior Octopus Suit is the suit that's being referenced here. I really like the white. I really like how that comes in with the green and black. It's just a nice color palette, and I think it's also a really nice reference. I can't complain at all about how they handled it because I think it looks good. I want to say it's a five star, so I will. It's a five star. Oh my fucking god. I really don't fucking like this suit, but... I really don't like these recolors. We've got fucking cum man here. Nothing special about me. I'm just white. Alright, fine. Is that not cool enough for you? What about fucking... 
Dark red. Huh? What, is that also not fucking cool enough for you? What about fucking forest green? Huh? These all suck. These all just fucking plain old suck. The first one is a fucking 1 out of 10. It's a 1 out of 10. The second one is a fucking 2 out of 10. And the third one is also a fucking 2 out of 10. Alright, Arachnite. This first recolor kind of makes him look like some sort of fucking construction worker. I think the lenses would have looked really good if you replaced the white with orange. That could have been sick. This one is so close to being kind of good, and it's just not kind of good because it misses the mark. It's, uh, it's okay. It's a two star. No, it's a three star. It's a three star. It's not that bad. The next one is probably the best of the bunch. I really like the blue and the white, and I kind of like how there's gradients that fade to black. There's like gray. It goes from like white to gray and then black on this suit, which I kind of dig. It's not bad, but I think these colors do feel a little scattered all over the suit sometimes. This one's a four star. I would have liked to see a little more contrast on it, like some black on the mask. Fucking Mustard Man. Fucking Mustard Man. You know what? Insomniac. This didn't partner with just Adidas to make a fucking costume in this game. They also fucking got fucking McDonald's. And you know what? I'm against brand sponsorships in Insomniac games, okay? Because look what it got us. It got us a shitty goddamn Spider-Man suit. So you know what? To stick it to Insomniac for partnering up with McDonald's, I'm going to give this suit a one star. Shame on you, Insomniac. I will not be getting the Spider-Man Happy Meal. I will not be getting the Spider-Man meal from McDonald's. I'm just kidding. If McDonald's actually came out with a Spider-Man meal, it would get a video. It would actually get a video. I am not kidding. All right, Spider-Punk. I can't lie. He definitely has some of the best recolors. I really don't have a lot of notes because they really just picked some really good colors here. I like the gray going against the muted red. I think having these two muted colors on a suit makes sense because they're together and they're not like clashing. They're kind of going with each other. This is a five star recolor. This next recolor is, is it, it, it has potential. I would have liked to see the insides of the lenses red, but they're white, so they really don't stick out with the rest of the suit. This one's so close to being perfect, but it's not, so it gets a four star. This next one is just good. I don't know what to say about it. It's really just a fucking good recolor. It's not just red and black that looks good on Spider-Man. I think gray can also work too. I'd like to see a lot more Spider-Man suits that use gray as the subcolor. Five stars. All right, next one we got Secret War Civil. Ugh. Next one we got Secret War. Si man, say that five times fast, man. Secret War Civil War. Secret War Civil War. Secret War Civil War. Huh. This first recolor is just white. Peter looks like the milkman. I don't know how I feel about the Milkman. I don't know if I like the Milkman. Let's uh, give it a four star. Why, why not? Just slap a four star on it. I feel like there was no way we could have a suit like this in the game and there wasn't going to be an army recolor on it. There had to be some sort of camo green. It makes sense. I think it fits this suit. It really does look like army Spider-Man now. It's a five star. It makes sense. This is Ken in the Spider-Man suit, by the way. I refuse to believe it's not. Do I even have to explain why I have to call this thing a five star? Do I really have to explain myself to you why this is a five star suit? No, I don't. No, I don't. Iron Spider. What the fuck is this? Okay, so they went and made the, the fabric parts of this suit white. And then they made all the armor plating black, but kept the gold. And you can barely even fucking tell the difference between these two metals. So it kind of just looks like this, this armor that you can barely even discern the pattern of. You can barely even tell the spider apart off it. This is not a good recolor. This is, this is a fucking, I want, it's a one out of 10. It's a one out of 10. Let's, yeah, we're calling it. All right, we got fucking blue iron spider. Honestly, I kind of don't mind that they made the fabric parts of this suit navy blue. 
and then made the armor plating a brighter blue. I honestly think it looks okay, and they could have gotten away with doing that on the original Iron Spider. I'm glad they didn't, though. That being said, this one looks good. I want to say it's a four star, because the contrast does make it look a little worse, but still good nonetheless. Four star. The black and gold Iron Spider. This one's just good. I don't really have a lot of notes on it. I'm glad they turned down the shine on the black parts so that you could see all the logos and stuff. Very smart. That's why the first recolor is so bad. They learned their lesson. I'm gonna call it. This one's a five star as well. All right, onto the new blue suit. I'm really glad they did a classic Spider-Man color for this suit. I just think this suit's really weird on its own. It kind of looks like a naked MCU Spider-Man suit. Ugh, I think I just, it's, it's gotta be a, it's gotta be like a, like a, it's a four star, the classic suit color, the, the classic suit color carries, the classic suit color carries. Honestly, this next one isn't that bad. It kind of makes him look like he's part of the Fantastic Four, which is kind of sick. I want to say this one's also a four star because of that reason. I think this final recolor has the same mistake Insomniac keeps making where like they'll have a really cool fucking color palette set up and then they will just fumble the bag by not changing the color of the lenses on the inside because the blue here would not look as weird if the eyes were also blue but alas they are fucking white again the fucking insides don't even have to be blue in fact the the lenses should be blue the rims the rims of the lenses should be blue but no they keep the blue everywhere else where it would completely balance it out they always just leave one spot missing and that's the lenses three star holy shit man every time every time i think insomniac fucking drops a fat stinky turd there's always a fucking nugget of gold out there somewhere man the purple the purple fucking i'm stuttering man i'm in shock i don't even know what to say the fucking purple color for the black suit i don't even have to explain myself five star don't even have to explain myself five star all right you take the original black suit you flip the colors on it does it look just as good uh, i still think it looks cool this way though don't get me wrong i just think the original looks much cooler i'm gonna say it's a four out of five it's not as good as the original color for the black suit and of course, you have the fucking 90s Venom shader on the final recolor here. Five star. I'm not even... I, again, I don't even have to fucking explain. It's just that good. All right, we got Astronaut Man, Life Story Peter Parker, Spider Shitter Man. I want you to take a shot every time I swear in this video. Don't do that. You will die. <sighs> this recolor is not so bad. It's okay. It's black, white, and red. I just don't like the way it's proportioned across the suit. I, th I just think it doesn't look all too interesting. I think it makes him look like a real spaceman. He looks like NASA Spider-Man. He's kind of got the NASA colors going on. It's okay. It's a three out of five. Three star. Fucking Webman variant again. Another fucking Webman variant. Good Lord, baby Jesus. I love it. I love the Webman, dude. I love how f I kind of feel like it's laziness. I kind of feel like it's a little bit of laziness on Insomniac's part, but I will never complain about getting Webman. So please, yes, keep being lazy and keep doing Webman over and over and over again on the classic suit. I love it. I love when you do Webman. I love when you do Webman. Do it every time, please, at least once. But it is a four star because the blue is a little too muted. And then finally, you have fucking Lethal Company Spider-Man. I do not like paid endorsements, and I said this before, but I actually like Lethal Company, so Insomniac. I'm okay with making this one a five star. You did a good job. This is a good partnership. You know, I actually picked up a few shifts myself at the Lethal Company. Uh, you know Jacob from, I, I don't remember their ad. It's uh, like Rose. Yeah, 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 Rose. yeah. Dog face dog, or former, formerly known as dog face dog. I love Whoa! his character. Yeah, I love his hair. I wish I had it. Yeah, he has nice hair. Oh my fucking god, it's the worst suit in the game. Okay, when we get to the Miles portion of reviewing his palettes, we're not covering this suit again. We're not- we are only reviewing this fucking suit once. I cannot believe this bullshit. I think the green makes the army equipment a little more tolerable. Like, it makes the padded look make him 
look a little more militarized. That's a two star. It's a fucking two star recon. No, it's a three star. I just don't like this suit, man. This next one is so much better. I like the blue, especially because it contrasts with the yellow. I gotta say, this is probably the best look for this suit. Four star. This last one, I don't even want to talk about it. It's like fucking white tiger or some bullshit. I don't even like it. It's, it's fucking, it's dumb. It's stupid. I don't want to fucking talk about this suit anymore. This is a fucking two star recolor, man. It's a two star recolor. All right, we got the Saving Lives suit, which I repeat is the stupidest fucking name. The white variant. This is honestly not that bad. I just don't think the, the, the white is the best choice. It's super fucking bright. I would have liked to see another color, maybe like blue or something. This is a three out of five. I think red was a really obvious choice. It just makes the suit look better. And red, gold, you know how that looks on Spider-Man. That looks good. This is a four star recolor. Green, not too bad either. He kind of looks like a Power Ranger. But then again, I guess all Spider-Men can kind of tend to look like Power Rangers sometimes. It's fine. This one's also a four out of five. And with that, we have reviewed every single palette swap for Peter Man in Spider-Man 2. That being said, you guys are gonna have to wait until part two, until I cover the Miles suits. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to do this to you, but if I did this any other way, you guys would have to wait a couple more weeks for the next video, and I'd rather you guys just have it split up in parts so you can get, you know, your content sooner. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you appreciated this video, and if you really want that part two, please sound off in the comments. If you sound off in the comments, it'll probably make me work on it much faster if you go down there and go, where the fuck is part two? Where the fuck is part two? If you scream that at me every day, I'll probably get it done faster. So thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys for watching the video through the whole way. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you like Spider-Man. All we cover is Spider-Man. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.